So, I mean, what's kind of cool for us is that each one is, you try for something. You try for certain colors or certain patterns, but it's really, every time is different. And every time you, when you open, when you slice one open, you see, like, something new. He's so he's mixing them. a clear resin together. There's two parts of it. And, uh, and then he's going to mix some kind of color in, probably. And then um, we use, like, the spandex netting, which um, is really good because it has a lot of surface area. And also, when you cut in cross-section, you get this sort of speckled effect. So. Yeah, it's generally like, you know, stripper where we are good at using scraps. There's layers of wood, and there's layers of previous pr uh, projects we've cast, and things like that. And it's built up with, with all these layers of spandex around the outside of it. Next step is to slice it, and we, we slice it on a, a, a chop saw. call them like cold cut coasters because I think they look cold a little bit like a mortadella or something. <laughs> but basically we just take the fruit itself and then cast uh -huh. this piece. The actual fruit is upside down and then uh, we kind of carve out a cavity of the uh, planter. Yeah, so we have a variety of different fruits. <laughs> Yeah, this stuff is super fast setting. Um, normally cement, you could cast maybe twice a day. This stuff we can cast every uh, 15 minutes. These are these stacking boxes that we're making. Yeah, it's the same material. So these molds are lined with silicone, same as these, but then there's like a rigid uh, plaster-based uh, outer shell, which keep, gives it the, the form. This we actually had made for us by this really interesting guy in, in Queens. He makes all of the official New York uh, like Statue of Liberty. Uh, plastic things because they have to be made in New York. Yeah, I think most people specialize in one yeah. one material or another, you know. Whereas we kind of have like a mix. 